Hey, I'm Colin. And I'm Matt. And we're from Glass Bones. And you're watching The Portland Pick. Hey Portland, it's Yuri here, hanging out at the uh, Alhambra Theater, formerly known as Mount Tabor Theater. They clean this, clean this place up a little bit, uh, and it's, they're starting to do a remodel, and it's looking good, so check this place out. But I'm hanging out with Glass Bones. We got Colin and Matt here. You guys remember Matt from A Happy Death. What was the reason I'm putting this band together, and how did it come together? Um, it it kind of grew out of like a singer-songwriter uh, thing, um, and I had like a couple guys that I had worked with for a while, but then once we grabbed Matt uh, through mutual friends, then it became more of like a rock and roll. Kind yeah. Of. So then it quickly like moved away from singer-songwriter material right into like a full group synthesis writing. And, uh, you know, we all just kind of brought our own ideas to the table and just wanted to rock out. Okay. That's, like, essentially the idea is, like, everyone was, like, in flux with other projects that they were in and working on other stuff, but this was something that gave them some focus, so. Okay, so you're, you're, bringing, you're bringing people in from, from other bands to kind of focus on, hey, this is where a rock, we're an we're alternative rock band, you'd say? Yeah, essentially. I mean, we, we pull from... You know, classic rock ideas, yeah. and, and we're obviously an indie rock band because yeah. we're an unsigned band, so you have to, you know, for think now. about it that way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, whatever it is, but for us, it was just something that's enjoyable, and it was we we're able to uh, kind of let go a little bit, yeah. and uh, you know, just just do what we needed to do. Yeah. Do you guys have any albums that are out that people should know about? Yeah, we do. I mean, there's that the, the three songs that were released were, was more of a demo than an EP. Yeah. Um, and that's still available and it's free to anyone who wants to get their hands on it. It's on Bandcamp, SoundCloud, uh, iTunes. But then after that, we went in and recorded with his brother, who's like one of the, uh, in my mind, one of the better producers here in town. Okay. Um, and we, we recorded uh, There's Still Time Left, which is an EP. And it's seven songs, um, okay. and we still play a lot of that material. Um, and now we have about oh, eight to nine different songs that we have are, some new songs that we're going to play tonight that are okay. yeah, so, totally rock. So Glass Bones is playing new songs tonight, and since you missed the show, go to the next show. Yeah. So what's what's next for Glass Bones? I mean, I did read online that you guys are planning on touring. Did you ever tour after that seven-song EP? Uh, only slightly. But, okay. Um, we've been very Portland-centric. Okay. For sure. What's the Portland's, plan? Portland's a good place to like get lost in. I mean, you, you can play Portland for three years like we have, and still uh, not even have played every club in town or come close to playing with every band. You know, there's so much to do here. So, uh, but we are definitely we got a bunch of new songs. Like you know, we're gonna play tonight, and uh, I think recording those uh, is is definitely that's, high on the. That's priority. definitely the next step. Is, okay. Is so what? Yeah. What do you guys want to do? Uh, we're gonna sit in with you know again. I talked to him after our, our last Doug Fur show. And we're gonna at least record the next uh, six to seven songs, okay. and then think down the line about a full length. A full length. How far down the line do you think? Oh, this will be done within the next six months. Wow. Yeah. So look for for new things coming from Glass Bone soon, guys. Um, what? How? Yes, since you guys been playing for three years, you said you can get lost in Portland, which is true. There's so many places to play. How have the fans reacted to this band, and how have you guys been able to grow your fan base? How do you get the word out? Um, Other than Matt being awesome, well, right? Colin, Colin actually feels like he knows everybody in town, man. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's it's networking with other bands, and then also I work in the service industry, and I've yeah. been in that for a long time. But then the other thing is when you play a show like this one tonight, you have to make sure you completely sell it out emotionally, you know? Uh -huh. Like, let it go, and then people will say something, and they will come back. Yeah. And I think that's one of the things that we've been able to pull together really well is that if, if people are going to show up and they're going to pay even five dollars to see us, then we're going to make sure that we put on the best show possible for them. And um, last thing, where can we find you online? Where can people get your songs? Where a anywhere that you want to, you can go to iTunes, you can go to Bandcamp, you can go to SoundCloud, you can go to Reverb Nation. Uh, we pay for digital licensing, so mm -hmm. any digital platform that you want, you can get our record and get it on the cheap. So just yep. go check it out. Just type in Glass Bones. You've got it. One word. One word. Yeah. So. Guys, thanks for hanging out with Portland Pick. Appreciate it. You guys are great. And Matt, great seeing you again.